speaking of business relationships, uh, a big question. Does Africa need to rethink its relationship with business? That's the view of one of the continent's leading economists and philanthropists. That's Tony Alamelu. He is promoting what he calls Afro-capitalism, the idea that the private sector can transform Africa's economy and society for the better. Well, he's been speaking to our reporter Peter McJob and began by explaining what continues to drive him. As a person, I believe, as a person, as an African, I believe that um, there's so much we can do to uplift humanity. I believe that uh, Africa uh, is not well uh, understood. And I, every day, I want to see my living as an opportunity to showcase what uh, Africa is made of and to tell the world that in Africa we have entrepreneurs, we have economists, we have philanthropists, we have business people. We have people who actually uh, work uh, in, a, in a very straight way. A lot of people associate your name, your brand, with the phrase Afri-capitalism. That's, you, you coined that phrase. Uh, tell us a bit about that because it's something you're quite enthusiastic about and you've been driving this message for quite a while. What does it really mean in the real sense of it? So, across Africa, I got to see and appreciate first the commitment of all of us toward the development of Africa. I too, I got to see that the success of the private sector is uh, not out of line with what government and public sector wants to achieve. I got to see that there's need for intersection, business and doing good, and that form the whole basis and inspiration for African capitalism. African capitalism is about the private sector, a call on the private sector, stand, stepping forward, investing, because that's what we know how to do in private sector, investing in critical sectors of the African economy that will help us ultimately to drive economic prosperity and human improvement. For instance, investment in power. When you invest in power in Africa, it's not just about profitability, but it is about creating prosperity and uplifting Africa, because without access to electricity, we don't develop as a continent. Mm. The people who support at the Tony El Melo Foundation, the young entrepreneurs, I say to them, tell me how your business can help create prosperity for you and prosperity for society. It's one of the eligibility criteria that we use in choosing who benefits from the program. So because we just want to build it, inculcate it into the subconscious of upcoming African entrepreneurs and private sector leaders to know that it's not just about you succeeding in business, it's about you succeeding in business that uplifts everyone, you, your business, communities you're involved with, and everyone. Because that is how we can help develop Africa.